Hi everyone, welcome to another home workout with me, Karen. Uh, just warm up with me while I talk for a few minutes. We're going to do a nice, quick, dynamic stretch to warm up our muscles. I'm gonna turn the light on here so you can see me a little bit better. Today we are doing another full body workout. Uh, although <laughs> I'm, I'm still going through uh, healing from my injury, so we are not gonna do any plyos or any jumping or chest today. Uh, not until I feel 100% better and I won't exacerbate any remaining injury I have left. So just lean back, lean forward, lean back, stretch those hamstrings, keep moving. Just get those muscles flowing with blood. Quick stretch, and we will do a regular stretch soon after our workout. But I will do that in a different video so you can do that on your own time as well. Okay, just a few more seconds. Today we will need some dumbbells, an exercise band, and a booty band. And as always, a good attitude. All right, open up those hips. All right, I hope you guys are having a good day. So far, if you're working at night, I hope you had a good day. All right, let's get started. So first, we're gonna grab a couple, or a first set of dumbbells, which is gonna be very light. And that's why I always like to start off with our light dumbbells. We're gonna do a lateral lunge, bicep curl with a delt press. And I'll just demonstrate real quick. Your feet are gonna be about outside your shoulder width. We're gonna hold the dumbbells out, palms out. We're gonna lean to the left, curl, press. Got it? So we'll start with our one side first, whatever side you prefer. You can mirror me on your TV or iPad, or you can go on your own by what uh, leg I say. All right? So we're gonna start, palms up, here we go. Lean left, curl, Arnold press. Back down, curl, and press. We're gonna do 12. And make sure you push off with that outside heel. Looking good, keep your abs tight. Now you have the option, depending on how much time you have, you could stay with us for the first set. That's about 10 to 12 minutes of a full body workout. Give you a little bit more time to stay with us for about 20 minutes. Or if you have the full 45 to 50 minutes, that's our full body workout. That's four sets. And this is the last rep right here. All right, reset. Palms forward. Lean to the right. Here we go. Lean, curl, press. Lateral lunge, push in the heel and press. Keep your abs tight. Remember to breathe. Exhale when you're pressing up. Curl, exhale. So good, you guys. We're just getting started. Pushing that heel. We're almost there. We got two more. Two. And one. Up we go. Good. Next up, we're gonna grab your booty band and one light dumbbell. We're doing a pulse squat, holding one dumbbell overhead. So what this works, it's gonna work your abductors, so it works your outer legs, it works your abs, because you're holding the dumbbell above you, and of course your glutes and your hamstrings. I'm grabbing my five, and I'll just turn this way so you guys can see a bit better. Is that good? Yeah. Your feet are gonna be hip width distance apart, Toes straight ahead or slightly pointed out. We're gonna go from your chin, bring it up. We're gonna pulse and up. All right, here we go for real. Three, two, and one. Pulse and up. Pulse, push. Squeeze those glutes at the top, squeeze. Push those knees out, don't let them cave in. Looking straight ahead, your tummy is pulled in. Imagine pulling your belly button to the back of your spine. Three more.
more. Push. Two. Last one. Pulse. Up and squeeze. Good. Put that down. We're going to do this without the weight first. That's why I want you to get used to the movement. We're doing a curtsy knee up. We're going to start in the middle. Your feet are going to be hip with, with distance. We're going to curtsy and knee up. Curtsy, knee up. Okay, without the weights, we're going to the left side first. Here we go. Three, two, one. Curtsy, knee up. Exhale on the way up. That's it, you guys. Nice and controlled. Keep that balance. And how do we keep that balance? We keep our abs tight. The core is the center of gravity and it helps keep us stable. We're trying to balance three, two, and one. So good. Shake it off. We're going to hit the other side. Let's go. Three, two, and one. I'm going to curtsy, knee up, curtsy, pushing up from that grounded heel. Use those arms for balance. Core and arms, you guys. Let's go. Four, three, two, and one. So good. You should be warming up by now, because I know I am. Okay, grab your band. Oh, pardon, grab your booty band, sorry. And grab one dumbbell. We're doing a one arm row with one arm and a shoulder press with the other. So you get on the ground, whichever side you prefer. I have the bend in my left foot right now, dumbbell on the right hand. So every time we row, we're going to press. Face this way, so you can see it better. Abs are tight. Let's go. Three, two, one row, look straight ahead. Keep that dumbbell arm 90 degrees at the bottom and press up. Use that lat when you're pulling that band back. No trouble, I use your traps, but your main concern is your lats, your back muscle. A lot going on right now. A lot of delts, a lot of lats. We're almost there. Stay focused. Three, two, and one. Good. Release gently. Switch sides. Put the bend on the opposite foot. Make sure it's nice and secure. Grab the dumbbell with the other arm. Get in position. Three, two, and one. Row and push. Focus. Looking straight ahead. Eye on the prize. Exhale when you're pushing up. On any exertion, you want to be exhaling. But as I say, as long as you're breathing, that's the most important thing. We got two and one. Beauty. Next up, we're gonna grab the other dumbbell. I still have my thighs with me. I always start with the lighter weight. You can stay on your knees or you can get up on your feet. We're doing a lateral late raise with a front raise. We're going to do 12 in total, 12 sets. That means 24 reps. I'll just demonstrate real quick. So we're going to do a lateral raise and then a front raise. Got it? Always lead with your elbow. Imagine I'm tying you straight into your elbow and I'm being treat you're treating, <laughs> I'm treating you like a puppet, okay? This is the only time you're a puppet. Let's go lateral in three, two, one. Lateral, lower. Front raise, lateral, and front raise. Good. Don't lead with your wrists. If you lead with your wrists, that works more with your traps. Looking good, you guys. Your abs are tight. There's not much swaying. You're not a flagpole in the wind. You're nice and strong. We're 
almost there. Keep it up, you guys. We got two and one. Finish it off with a front raise. Nice work. Okay, now grab your workout band and one dumbbell. Grab my fives once again. I'm stepping on the band with my left foot. It's secure under my heel. I'm gonna bring it, I'm gonna actually squat for this because I don't want you to injure your rotator cuff. This is how I normally do it. So I step on it, I grab the band in a crouching position, grab my dumbbell with the opposite hand, and stand up, give it a quick little tug, make sure it's enough resistance for me. All right, so every time we tricep extend, we're gonna curl our bicep. Here we go, three, two, and one. Curl and extend, nice and easy, don't rush it. If you have music going on, this is the only time you wanna go off the beat. You really wanna focus on the contraction of your muscles. Squeeze and curl. Stay focused, abs are tight. Three more, three, two, and one. So good. Gently release. Put the band on the other foot this time. We're doing the exact same thing. So I try to keep where I had my heel on the band the same uh, distance from the end of the band. That makes any sense. And I try to switch hands while not moving too much just so it's the same resistance. So crouching, put it over my shoulder, grab the other dumbbell. Try to face you guys a bit more so you guys. Okay, get in position. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Extend and curl. We're getting 12. Point your elbow to the ceiling. Nice and controlled. Squeeze. Looking straight ahead. Your abs are always tight, supporting that body. Supporting your upper body so you're not crunching over, you're not leaning back, you're not leaning to the side. Nice and strong. Like a totem pole. That's nice and strong. Almost there. Three, two, and one. Good. Gently release your crouch back down so you don't injure your rotator cuff. That's the last thing we want. Okay, grab your other dumbbell, you guys. We're doing a tricep kickback with the bent over row. I'll just demonstrate real quick. Face this way. All right, so your feet are gonna be about hip width distance apart or shoulder width apart or anywhere between the two. You're gonna bring the dumbbells to your sides, tuck your elbows into your ribs. We're gonna kick back, squeeze, bring it down, extend your arms, fly. Row, extend, lower, Fly. Got it? All right, let's go. Three, two, and one. Row, extend, lower, fly. Row, extend, lower, fly. Squeeze. You're doing the flies. Keep a slight bend in your elbow. It's not completely straight. Make sure you feel those little Muscles behind your armpits working. Extend, fly, we're almost there. Stay focused. They're small muscles, but they do make a difference. When you're wearing tank tops, when you're showing off your arms, the triceps for some reason are pretty impressive. Two more, row, extend, lower, Fly, come on. Triceps, lower, fly. So good. Okay. We're gonna get down on the ground next. We're finished off with a couple of ab exercises. We're doing reverse crunches, followed by weighted toe touch. Okay. You're gonna lay down. 
Put your hands underneath your sacrum or underneath your butt. We're gonna bend your knees. I'm just gonna bring it back for a little lift. All right? So we're gonna barely graze the ground and lift. Ready to go? Three, two, and one. Lift, graze the ground, up. Nice and easy. There's a little bit of momentum that's assisting you, but you really want to contract those abs to bring them in. So if you're talking, it would sound like this. <laughs> in. Come on, guys. Exhale. Two more. We got two. Last one. So good. Grab your light dumbbell. We're doing a weighted toe touch. Okay. So what I want you to do is raise your legs 90 degrees. Flex your feet. We're just gonna reach up. Simple as that, small crunches. Here we go, three, two, and one. Reach up, eyes to the ceiling. Straight neck, you never wanna be craning your neck. Keep your chin out of your chest. Exhale. Make sure you get that contraction, you guys. Very important. You want to maximize every movement. We got two and one. So good. Slowly get up. We don't want any head rushes. Grab a sip of water. Dab off that sweat. Let's see, we're about... The 15 minutes in or so. So if this is the end of your workout, thanks for joining. Uh, I always believe even if it's like 10, 15 minutes of a good sweat, that's better than nothing at all. Hopefully next time you join us for a bit longer. If you're staying with me, we're doing this three more times for the full body workout. And um, yeah, this is just the beginning. If you're starting to sweat now, you're gonna sweat a lot more later, I promise you. All right, we'll take a few more seconds. If you wanna take this time to do a little like a, a little bit of stretch, feel free to do so. That's always nice since your body's already warm. The first exercise is a lateral lunge with a bicep curl and arnold press. So mentally prepare for that. I'm gonna stick with the fives for now. And I, for my last two sets, I'm gonna go for the eights. Okay, all right, all right, all right. If you're continuing me, I'm so happy that you are. We're gonna go, get in position. Your feet, your heels are just outside your shoulders. A wide stance. You can point your toes out, but not too much. Make sure they're just pointing straight ahead. All right, so your palms are down, you're facing forward. We're gonna lunge to the left in three, two, and one. We're gonna lunge, curl, Arnold press. Down. Lunge, curl, Arnold press. Good. Push in the outer heel. You should feel in your glutes. Your abs are tight. So we're working your hams, your glutes, your abs, your biceps, and your delts. There's a lot going on, I know. It's a bit of coordination, but honestly, if I can do it, you definitely can, because I have zero coordination. <sighs> Got two more, lunge, curl, press. Last one right here, lunge, curl, press. Bring it down, good, catch your breath, regroup. We're gonna go to the right side in three, two, and one. We're gonna lunge, push off from the heel, curl, press. Bring it down, lunge, curl, press. You got it. Stay focused, looking straight ahead. You don't need to look at me all the time. <laughs> I'd rather you not. <laughs> now it really helps if you have a mirror you can put in front of you so you can watch your form. I find that helps a lot. Sometimes I even catch myself. If I catch myself in the mirror working out, I'm like, oh, my arm is not straight enough or I'm curving my back too much. So it's a nice idea to have a mirror handy if you're able to. We got two 
and one. Last one, curl and press and finish it off. Nice work. Woo. Okay, grab your booty band, put it on around your knees. I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab my five pound dumbbell. If you think you're ready to increase the weight, feel free. Don't sacrifice your form. Which way should I go? I think I did forward last time maybe with you guys. Let's do a side so you guys can get a different view. All right, your heels are about hip width distance, shoulder width apart or anywhere between the two. Okay, bring it to your chest. We're gonna bring it up ahead. We're gonna pulse and squat in three, two, and one. We're gonna pulse, up and squeeze those glutes, pulse, up and squeeze. Stick that booty out. Imagine you're in the dark and you have a chair behind you. And you just don't plop down on the chair, do you? No, you kind of like slowly lower down so you don't fall on your butt to make sure the chair is even there in the first place. So that's what we're doing. Lower, sit that booty out and up and squeeze. Up. Three more. Yes, Bella. How's that form? <laughs> Last one. Up and squeeze. So good. Whew. All right. Next, I'm curtsying me up. I'm going to start using my weights now. Last one, we did the body weight. You can still, if you want to, or if you have another lighter weight, you have a two or three pounder, you can use those two. So now with the weights, it's a little bit different in form. I'm just gonna show you what I'm gonna do is I'm going to tap the ground with the weight and knee up. So we're gonna tap the weight and knee up. You're pushing from the outer heel still, all right? Let's go, three, two, and one. I'm gonna curtsy, knee up, curtsy, knee up. Good. Keep that balance, keep that core tight. You can point your toes and you're bringing your knee up. It's better than having it like flop around like this. It doesn't know what it's doing. So keep it nice and tidy, professional style. Point those toes. Two and one. Nice work. Whew. All right, shake it off. We're gonna go to the other side this time. I'm planting my right foot on the ground. My left leg is swinging back. In three, two, and one. Curtsy, knee up. Abs are tight. Shh. Shh. Looking good. Pushing that bottom heel. Shh. Exhale on the way up. Almost there. Shh. Got three, two, Shh. and one. Up, so good. Whew. Grab some water, I need it. Next, we have one arm row with a booty band and a delt press with a dumbbell. Whew. All right, I'm gonna use the eights this time. Put the band around one foot, nice and secure. With one hand grabbing the band, the other hand grabbing your dumbbell into a shoulder press. All right, work your shoulders and back. Here we go, three, two, and one. Row and press. Your chin is parallel to the ground, looking straight ahead. That's it. Exhale when you're pressing and rolling. We got three, two, and one. Awesome job. Switch sides. My fan's going on the right foot this time. Dumbbell in the left hand. <laughs> Let's go. Three, two, and one. Row and press. Shh. 
Looking good. Exhale. Abs are tight. Three, two, one. Get a good squeeze. Good, good. Grab your other dumbbell. I'm still using the light ones. You can do this standing or you can do kneeling. So if you're standing, you really want to engage your core for stability. Make sure you're not swaying during your lateral and front raises. I'll do it kneeling so you can actually see my arms working. Okay, we're going to lateral, then a front raise. Got it? Okay. Let's go. Three, two, and one. Lateral raise, then front. Lateral, front. Abs are nice and strong, supporting your upper body to prevent it from swaying. Whew. Nice and controlled. A lot of shoulder action, bolder shoulders. So these are working your medial delts, and that's what gives you width. And the front delts, which help for that armpit fat that we all love so much. <laughs> Not. We got three. Stay with me. You got it. Two. Burn, baby, burn. Last one. Nice and controlled. Don't rush it. And up. Whew. Yeah, easier said than done, right? I know. I know. So grab your long band. I'm going to be stepping on it with one foot. I'm going to step, uh, step on it with my left foot. Make sure the weight of your heel is on it securely. Grab a dumbbell with the other hand once again. I want you to play it safe. I want you to crouch and then put the band over. So if your left foot is standing on it, grab it with your right hand so it's a cross body motion. All right, dumbbell left, band left, grab it with the right hand, does that make sense? Okay, <laughs> stand up. I know you're smart out there, you can figure it out. All right, put your elbow to the ceiling. We're gonna curl and extend in three, two, and one. Curl and extend. Squeeze. Squeeze. Your abs are tight. Looking straight ahead. We got three, two, and one. Good, lower, crouch down, you guys. Grab the band from your heels, your, one of your hands. Put it on the other side as much, as close to where you were with the other side. And with your hands, switch it over. Might not be exactly the same, but we want as much of the same resistance as possible. So your one side doesn't develop more quickly than the other. Okay. Ready to go in three, two, and one. Curl and extend. Make sure you squeeze that bicep and tricep. Core is nice and strong. Squeeze. So good, you guys. I'm so proud of you. It's not easy to work out at home, but we're doing it. Even I. I'm not motivated sometimes, but I know it's necessary because my gym is not open during this COVID madness. All right, last one. Curl and squeeze, good. Lower crouch down, then release the band. If I'm repetitive, I'm sorry, but safety first. Okay. Grab your lighter set of the dumbbells, but if you're a bit stronger in the, the tricep area, Feel free to level up with a heavier dumbbell. We're gonna do the kickbacks with the bent over uh, flies. All right, straight arm. Uh, feet are a bit uh, about hip and shoulder width distance apart. Let's go, three, two, one, we're gonna row. Tricep extension, lower, fly. Row, tricep extension, lower, fly. Got it? Extension, 
fly, triceps, rear delts. It's not about the weight sometimes, it's about the form and the squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze. Your body should be quite still. There not there shouldn't be too much motion because you want to use the muscles. You don't want to use momentum to be using to be moving the dumbbells. We're almost there. Two more. Extension. Fly. Last one coming up. Triceps. Fly. So good. Ah. Okay. I'm gonna get on the ground, finish that off with a couple of ab exercises. Reverse crunches, let's get 12. On your back, hands underneath your sacrum, bend your knees, hover your heels on the ground. Let's go three, two, and one. Lift up and lower, raise the ground up. Squeeze. Looking good, looking straight up at the ceiling. So like you're relaxing for the most part, except for your abs. <laughs> They're doing all the grunt work right now. Squeeze. Four more. This is four. Three. Two. And one. Nice job. Grab your light dumbbell. Extend your feet, extend your legs, flex your feet. We're gonna reach for the toes in three, two, one, up, straight neck. Use those abs. Exhale on the way up. You don't need to actually touch your toes, you just will be aiming toward them. Unless you're extra, extra strong, feel free to do so within your own ability, don't force it. We got two and one, whoo! Nice work, that's round two. How much time you guys got? Can you guys stay with me for a little bit longer? It's, an, it's been about 30 minutes or so for two sets. If that's all you got is 30 minutes, thanks for joining. For the, those that are staying with me, thank you. Because I don't like to work out alone. That's why Bella's here. She's by the door. <laughs> okay, grab a sip of water, whatever you need to do. Uh, my post-workout ritual is I have a protein shake and mix it with water, just one scoop, put it in my shaker cup, add some water, shake it up, bada bing, bada boom. Um, if you don't have time for that, I mean, really, you don't have time for that, do you have time for anything? I just want you to maximize your workout by uh, having some protein after. You don't wanna waste a workout. That's what I've always learned. If you want the max, if you want to maximize your results, you really have to focus on the exercise and movement and replenish your muscles. So if you are working out, that's a great start. But if you're not replenishing it after, you're not really giving the most integrity to your workout, if that makes any sense. But everyone's at their own pace. And I totally understand that. I'm just happy that you're working out with me. Remember our first exercise, a lateral lunge with a bicep curl and Arnold press. I'm gonna level up for this one. We, I'm going to do the eight pounds. All right, get ready. Your feet are wide, a wide distance apart, just outside your shoulder width distance. Toes are pointed forward for sure. You put them slightly out, like an itty bitty bit. Not too much. All right. So we're gonna lunge to the left. We're gonna push from the heel in three, two, and one. Lateral lunge, bicep curl, Arnold press. Lateral lunge, bicep curl, Arnold press. Now I don't wanna rush through this because I really want you to press through the heel to make sure you're engaging the muscles being worked. So right here, legs, booty, bicep, shoulders. A 
Again, if you're listening to music over there, it's not to the beat and I apologize for that. Aside from the reason I have no rhythm, I just want you to really feel the muscles being worked. Three, two, last one. Good. Regroup. Did I miss a rep there? I don't know. <laughs> Let's just not miss the next one. All right, reset, let's lunge in three, two, and one, lunge to the right, bicep curl, Arnold press. Lunge, bicep curl, Arnold press. We're balancing out this side. Just make sure your first rep is exactly like the last rep. First rep is exactly like the last rep. The last rep exactly like the first rep. Lunge, curl, press. Lunge, curl, press. Push the outer heel. Three, two, one. So good. Whew. Grab your booty bag, put it on your knees. I need a sip of water. Too much mouth breathing. Could you hear that? People are like stomping around upstairs. It's the most annoying thing ever. <laughs> All right, we're doing the pulse squats with the dumbbell. I'm using the eights this time. Usually my third and fourth set are my stronger sets. Let's face this way, maybe. No, I'll face this way. Okay, your feet are gonna be about hip to shoulder width this apart once again. Bring a dumbbell up to your chest, raise it forward. Abs are tight. Let's pulse squat in three, two, one. Pulse, up and squeeze those glutes. Pulse, up and squeeze. Don't let those knees cave in. Push your knees out. Slow and steady, squeeze. It's easy if we go fast. Sure, we uh, sweat more maybe. I don't know, but I'm sweating pretty much the same right now. You might think you're getting a better workout by going fast, but that's not always the case. Do you notice if you go slow, it's more torturous. Three, squeeze, two. Last one, squeeze. On the up, whoo, amazing, amazing. Next curtsy knee up, grab my five pounders. Whoo, I'm gonna plant my left foot on the ground. I'm gonna swing my right foot back. I'm gonna gently tap the ground with the dumbbell. And three, two, and one, curtsy knee up. Curtsy, knee up. Point your toe on the knee up. Left foot is firm and flat on the ground. Abs are tight. Let's go. Three, two, and one. Shake it off. You guys are doing amazing. Okay, regroup, catch your breath. Push your right foot flat on the ground. Whew. We're gonna swing your left leg back. In three, two, and one. We're gonna curtsy, knee up. Your abs are tight. You're looking straight ahead. <clears throat> Stare a spot in front of you, whether it's out the window or on a spot on the wall. Stay focused. We're almost there. We've got three, two, and one. So good, you guys. Grab your booty band. We're doing the one arm row. 
with a delt press. I'll try facing this way so you, can, you guys can see my shoulders. We're starting at 90 degrees. Whew. All right, we're gonna row and delt press in three, two, and one. Really focus on the back because since we do mostly home workouts right now, for me anyway, I really want to focus on that contraction of my lats. Two and one. Nice work. Switch the band to the other side. Dumbbell with the other hand. This time I'm rowing with the right, pressing with the left. Get in position. Three, two, and one. Row and press. Slow and steady wins the race. Core is tight. Looking good, you guys. Exhale and exertion. Looking good. Three, two, and one. Beauty. We're doing a lot of raises to the front raises. Now you can be on your feet or you can be kneeling. And for the sake of video and space, I'm gonna do it on the kneeling. Remember, you're leading with your elbows, like I'm tying a string to your arm, and someone's pulling it up. You should feel this more in your delts. If you're using your wrists, it's more, more, you feel more in your traps. Okay. We're gonna lateral in three, two, and one. Lateral and front. Keep your abs tight. So the dumbbell should go about where your shoulder is. There's always different techniques. There's a front raise where you go way above your shoulders, but we're not doing that today. So the form police can go home. There are different ways to do an exercise. Stay with me. My arms are burning, my delts are burning, but we're not giving up. We got two more. Lateral, front, come on. Lateral and front, <laughs> gently lower. Whew. So good. Triceps and biceps, he's ready for this. I'm gonna stand on with my left heel, make sure it's nice and secure. I don't want it to release and hit you somewhere. Very dangerous. These bands are totally uh, unassuming. Trust me. Okay. Left heel, right arm grabs a band. Dumbbell in your left arm. Ooh, caught my hair. Told you it was dangerous. Okay. Let's curl and extend in three, two, one. Curl and extend. Abs are tight, remember. Squeeze. It might be a light weight or light resistance, but just make sure you get that contraction. Squeeze those tries and buys. Three, two, and one. Release, crouch down. Grab the band from your heel. Place it in the same vicinity as where your other heel had it for balance. The right hand, grab it in the same spot. Whew. All right, let's go up. Point your elbow to the ceiling. Let's go in three, two, and one. Curl and extend. Nice and slow. Nice and contracted. Looking straight ahead. Squeeze. Three more. 
right, we got three, two, and one. Bring it down, coach back down. Good. I'm gonna grab my light dumbbells for the tricep extensions. Oh, my hair is like stuck to my back. So we're doing the dumbbell extensions or tricep extensions with the bent over flies. Um, when you're doing the row, we're not doing so much back, it's just basically to get in position. It works using your back in a very minor way because it's such a light weight, it's not doing a whole ton. But if you squeeze, then you will engage your back, which obviously uh, pushes the blood. But there, are anyways, I ramble on. <laughs> Straight arm. <laughs> We're gonna row in three, two, and one. Row, tricep extension, lower, bent over fly. Row, extension, lower, bent over fly. On your own, you got it. Squeeze those triceps. Squeeze, lower. Think about your rear delts as those two little nuggets on the back of your armpit. Because literally, that's what they look like. The little chicken nuggets. And you know when I ramble on about weird things? I'm getting tired. <laughs> we got three. Tricep, rear fly. This is two. And last one, lower rear fly. Good. <sighs> Get on the ground. Finishing it off a couple back uh, ab exercises. 12 reverse crunches, followed by 12 weighted toe touches. So put the dumbbell near you so you don't have to scramble for it. <sighs> All right, hands underneath your sacrum. Bend your knees. Your, left, your heels are hovering the ground. Let's go. Three, two, and one. Reverse. Exhale on the crunch. All abs. Abs all day. Looking straight up at the ceiling. Five. Four. You got it. Squeeze. One. So good. Grab your light dumbbell. Extend your legs to the ceiling 90 degrees. Flex your feet. Reach with the weight to your toes and only lift your upper body. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Up and lower. Squeeze those abs. Your eyes are focused on the ceiling. Your neck is straight. Your chin is not in your chest. Get it out of there. That's not where it belongs. Six. Concentrate. Three. Two. And one. So good, you guys. Whew. Grab a sip of water. Jab off your sweat. We made it this far. Now, as I say sometimes, each even myself, I didn't come this far just to get this far. That's three sets down. It's been about a 45 minute workout. So we have one more set. This is our fourth one. And I don't know, let's just get it over with. Shall we? No, no, no. Is it four? Yeah, it is four. I can't even count anymore. It's been so long since I did a video, you guys. You gotta hold me accountable. Come on now. All right, let's not waste too much time. Uh, I just want to blow through this, but with perfect form, okay? Okay, lateral lunge, bicep curl, and Arnold press. Feet are a bit, you already know this, just outside your shoulder width distance. We're gonna lunge to the left in three, two, and one. Lunge, curl, press. Lunge, Curl, press. We're pushing from the outer heel. Exhale on the way up. Your abs are always tight. 
We're almost there. We're almost there. Come on. Two. One. Bring it down. Regroup. Catch your breath. Palms are facing forward. Let's go. Three, two, and one. Lunge, curl, press. Push in the outer heel. Press. Abs are tight. Your entire body is nice and strong. Looking straight ahead. Looking good. Keep pushing. Three left. Let's go. Three. Two. And one. Press. Whoo! Nice work. Grab your booty band. Put it in position. Just above your knees. Whew. Grab one dumbbell. Whew. Place your feet about hip width distance apart. Toes are pointing forward. Let's go this way. All right, cool. Let's go. Three, two, one. Press it up. We're going to pulse. Up and squeeze those glutes. Pulse. Push those knees out. Looking straight ahead. Straight back. Should definitely feel this in your gluteus maximus. I do. Come on. You're a pro by now. Three. Pulse. Last one. And up. Whew. Nice work. Take this off. Whew. Grab your light dumbbells. Curtsy knee up. Start on the left side first. So that means I'm planting my right foot firmly on the ground. I'm going to swing your right leg back in three, two, and one. Curtsy knee up. Curtsy knee up. Too excited. Abs are always tight. Stare a spot on the wall. If you're staring at me, it's kind of challenging because I'm a moving thing. But if you stare at something stationary, you will keep your balance a whole lot better. We got three, two, and one. Push up and up. Whew. Catch a breath. Reset. Plant your right foot on the ground. We're gonna swing our left leg back at three, two, and one. Here we go. Curtsy, knee up. Gently tap your dumbbells on the ground. So good. Knee up, point those toes. That's it, you guys. So awesome. Three, we got two, last one, and up. Amazing, amazing. All right, one arm lat, uh, row, and a shoulder press. Try facing this way this time, not like it matters. And just to switch it up, putting the right band, over my right foot and my dumbbell in my left hand. Just to shock the body a little bit. Okay, get in position, 90 degrees of the dumbbell arm. Let's go, three, two, and one, row press. Exhale. Bring your shoulder blades down, get your shoulders away from your ears. You're nice and elongated. 
Come on. Make it count. Last three on this side. We got two and one. Squeeze and lower. Switch sides. Whew. We got this, guys. I know you got it. We got it. All right, get in position. Let's go. Three, two, and one. Row and press. Squeeze. Looking straight ahead. Your chin is parallel to the ground. Your abs are tight, 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 supporting the upper body. Let's go. We got three, two, and one. Squeeze and lower. Put those down. I'm grabbing my five pounders. Doing a lateral raise with the front raise. We're taking our time with this one. Don't rush it, no swing, no body uh, assistance, okay? Just keep those abs tight. Let's go, three, two, and one. Lateral raise, front, lateral, front. Abs are tight, looking straight ahead. I'm pulling you by the strings from your elbows. Shoulders all day. Whew. We're working on those boulder shoulders, you guys. Whew. Come on. Four. Three. Two. Last one right here. Raise and front, gently lower. Amazing job, we're almost there. Try some kickbacks with a bent over fly. You know how these go. Bend over, 45 degrees, arms straight, here we go. Row, tricep extension, lower, rear fly. Triceps, rear fly, squeeze. Squeeze. So good, keep it up. Contract, and those chicken nuggets. <laughs> Let's go. Stay focused, no swinging. Two. Last one, make sure you make it count. Squeeze. Amazing job. Last two exercises of the day. And we always finish off with abs. So put your lighter dumbbell close to you. We're going to do reverse crunches. We're going to do 12. Okay, get in position. Ready to go. Three, two, and one. Contract. Reverse. And then exhale in the reverse. Take your time. Don't let your legs drop. Shh. You always want to be in control. There's not many things we can control in life, but this exercise is one of them. Four. Three. Last two. One. Amazing. Grab your light dumbbell, just one. Legs, 90 degrees. Flex your toes. Extend your arms to the dumbbell. Let's reach in three, two, and one. Reach and lower. Squeeze. Neck is straight. Eyes are glued to the ceiling. Your abs are doing all the work. Squeeze. Make it count. Pause at the top if you need to. Find that contraction. Last three. Hold it. Last one, hold it. Straight neck. Hold it, hold it, and release. Whew. Hey, you made it, we made it, I'm so happy. Um, this one ran kinda long today. It's about an hour with me talking all that jazz. 
So I'm going to do a stretch. So look for that on my YouTube. Um, see you guys next time.